Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on sales forecasting. We're going to get started right away and upload our data set. This is a Walmart data set that records the sum total sales over the course of a week for each week. If there were additional columns here, such as a column that records the promotions that were going on during that week, that information will always be taken into account automatically. So the more information that we feed the model, the better. The column that we want to predict is the weekly sales, and we're going to use the forecasting task. Our date time column is dates. We'll select both store and department for reporting columns because we want to forecast sales for each combination of store and department. The, this is an old data set, so we're going to go back in time and forecast from, let's say, November 2nd to December 28th. Our forecasting range is going to be one week because we're predicting the sum total sales over the course of a week and we want to make this prediction every week. And we're ready to submit our model now and this will take some time to run uh, but for our purposes I've already gone ahead and ran this model. Uh, you can see there's a completed one over here. Uh, so we can go ahead and take a look at the reporting page and we can see that all these models here were created from that data set. Now the one-click platform will automatically choose the best model for the data set and spit out the results right here. So we can go ahead and download that data set, or the results rather, and I've already opened it up here in numbers so we can see these results here. So the starting date time is would be the start of the week and the end date time column would be the end of the week and then here we can see the predicted sum total sales for that week and we see that we have all the weeks within the range that we selected.